Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Hadlock Field and tonight's New England Ford Dealers pregame show. My name is Paul Coughlin and I've been the PA announcer for the Sea Dogs for eight years now. Every trip to the ballpark is exciting because I, I feel like we're putting on concurrent shows. There's a show we need to put on for the fans, and the staff here is incredible and provides that. And then there's the obvious baseball show that all of the pros take care of there. Uh, so it's, it's, to me, it's like opening night every night. Yes, yeah, ego aside, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. It's like Moses speaking over the tablets. Ladies and gentlemen, your Portland Sea Dog. I do like my voice. I have my dad to thank for that. He was a uh, singer and an, uh, he did some announcing as well in Massachusetts back in the day. Lovely. I'll tell you the truth. I used to, as a kid, bring a tape recorder to Red Sox games just to record the announcer. And I used to imitate it. I'd bring it home and listen to the cassette tape and imitate it, uh, wanting to be the announcer one day. Catches a low and outside corner, a called strike one, evens the count, one ball, one strike. Wilson with 124 major league appearances. My name is Emma Tiedemann. I'm the play-by-play -play voice of the Portland Sea Dogs. I am originally from Dallas, Texas. I'm in my second year with the Portland Sea Dogs, but my first season. A lot of preparation goes into it, a lot of research of individual players, different statistics that are happening, whether it's a hitting streak or an on-base streak for a player, and then looking at the opposing team as well. So a lot goes into it. We will take a short break with the Portland Sea Dogs trailing 4-3 the Fisher Cats with the runner on first on the Sea Dogs radio network built by General Dynamics Bath Iron Ranch. I absolutely love coming to my job every day. It doesn't even feel like it's my job to call baseball. Hopefully one day uh, the ultimate goal is to be the radio voice of a major league team. One of the joys of minor league baseball is to see these young guys uh, develop, move up to AAA and then up to uh, up to the big leagues. I gotta say Mookie Betts. I remember the day, he would, he could do it all, and I remember the day he went out to center field to start shagging flies, and I said, what the heck is he doing out there? And I was told, maybe the Red Sox want to try him in the outfield. And try him, they did. How did it work out for him? <laughs> We'd have to ask his accountant. Years ago, Baseball America named uh, Portland, Maine, the best uh, minor league baseball town in America. Yeah, the Sea Dogs employ 18 full-time staff members and around 275 year um, part-time seasonal employees. And we have everything from uh, high school workers to uh, retirees working here. So it's a great mix of people that we have uh, making things happen here at the ballpark. Gotta go. <laughs> a integral part of our game day staff are our interns each year. We hire about uh, 15 to 20 interns. We feel it's important to train the next generation of sports industry leaders. This is a great opportunity for them to get their experience. We get to hire many of them to be full-time staff members here at the Sea Dogs, and many of them go on to full-time careers in the sports industry, either with the Red Sox or other organizations throughout the country. Hi, my name is Javier Rosari. I go to Amherst College, and I'm an intern with the Sea Dogs this summer. 
I'm double majoring in political science and Spanish, and I would really like to work in baseball in the future, so I thought this was a great way to learn a bit about the behind the scenes and get my feet wet. Uh, Jason Cook, head groundskeeper with Portland Sea Dogs. Okay. Uh... Who cuts the lawn at your house? <laughs> We're gonna have to keep this between us because uh, my wife handles the lawn at the house. After being here all day, uh, yeah, it just doesn't get the attention it needs from me anyway. Uh, we are consistently, we're, you know, concerned about playability on the field. Uh, a lot of bad dreams about weather and weather-related things, not getting the tarp out, things like that. You know, like reasons that we can't play because that I have a hand in. So, yeah, definitely. Well, you like what you're doing? Absolutely, love it. Great. Oh, yeah. We have a tremendous crew and uh, get to spend the night at the ballpark. Can you say hi to Wimbo? Boom! Oh. Oh. This is Gunner. Say hi, Gunner. Can you say hi?